In this video, we're going to add maze dimensions that we can set from in Godot that C++ will know about. So we're going to add to root.h a static node 2D pointer, p inner wall container node, and a static vector 2 maze dimensions. And then we are going to get a node 2D pointer, p exit, and a node 2D pointer, p outer walls. And then we also need a ready function. So we're going to add void underscore ready to our header file. And then we're going to need a getter and setter. So void set maze dimensions, vector 2v, and vector 2 get maze dimensions. And that should be it for our header file. So let's go over to the C file and we're going to add our statics. So we want to add node 2d star root p inner wall container node. And then we want vector 2 root maze dimensions. And we're going to set that by default to vector 2 11, 7. And then in register methods, we're going to register method char star underscore ready. And we're going to point it at our root underscore ready method. And then we're going to register a property. So register property. It is for class root and it is of type vector two. And then we're going to do char star maze dimensions. That's what it'll show up as in Godot. And then we need a setter and getter. So point to our root set maze dimensions and then point to root get maze dimensions. And then our default will be just maze dimensions, which we had set to 11.7. Then let's go to the bottom of the file and add our getter and setter. So vector 2 root get maze dimensions, and it'll just return maze dimensions. And then our root set maze dimensions, we are going to take in a vector 2 v. And this one's going to do a little bit of extra stuff here. If f mod v comma two is less than a small number, so if it's zero, then we want to do minus minus on v dot x, and that it needs to be a f mod of v dot x actually. And then we're going to do the same for v dot y, and this is to make sure that our number is always going to be odd because our algorithm is going to rely on it. And then after we've done the F mods, we will do maze dimensions equals V. And that's it for our setter. So then we need to work on our ready function. So void root ready. And we're going to do a const Godot string again. And actually, since we're doing pretty much the same thing, let's just copy it from player.cpp. So grab the ready function from player.cpp and paste it in. And then we're going to change camera2d to gs exit. And we're going to look for the string exit. And then we're going to do the same thing for outer walls. So gs outer walls. And the string will be outer walls. And then inside of the for loop, instead of Checking on camera 2D, we're going to check on exit. So if exit is equal to n get name, then p exit is equal to node 2D star of n. And then since we are going to be doing this multiple times, let's make a Godot string that holds our name. So we'll just call it ts name. And then inside the for loop, we will just set GS name equals and get name. And then let's replace and get name with our GS name. And then we want an else if on the GS exit. So else if GS outer walls is equal to GS name, then we're in our outer walls. So P outer walls equals node 2d star of n. And we're just saving the nodes for use. So, 
Then we want to set p exit set position. And we're going to make this a vector 2, 128 times maze dimensions dot x minus 3, comma 128 times maze dimensions y dot uh, minus 3. And we're doing minus 3 because we are offset. Our 0, 0 is actually 1, 1. And then we don't want the inner and outer walls. So that is why we need 3. And then we're going to copy paste this again because we're going to be looking for north, south, east, and west walls. So let's make a string for gs north, and it'll be called north. And then we'll copy that four times, and then make a south, east, and west. And then this is our outer walls that we're going to need to set the position. And then we don't need to declare n and array and all that stuff. We're just going to set a equal to get children. And then we want it from outer walls instead of ourselves. So p outer walls get children. And then we want child count. We don't need to declare it anymore. And we want p outer walls get child count instead of this get child count. And then we also want inside of our loop n to be gotten from p outer walls. So n equals p outer walls get node. And then we actually called our walls north wall, south wall, etc. So let's fix that so that we find the nodes. And inside of our for loop, we want to check gs north is equal to gs name then gs south and in these we are going to just copy paste a couple more times for east and west so gs east is equal to name and gs west is equal to gs name Then let's actually add the code in here so for gs north we want a node 2d pointer per wall and it's going to equal a cast of node or of n, so node td star n. And then we want wall set scale. And we're going to set it to a vector 2 of maze dimensions dot x, comma 1. And this is so that it's a long wall along the north along the north. And then we want the same for south. And we want east to be from y instead. So vector 2 of 1 comma maze dimensions dot y. And then we want west to be the same as east. Then for south, we want to set the position to be vector 2 minus 128 comma 128 times maze dimensions dot y minus 2. And then we're going to do the same thing for east. So we're going to set the position to vector 2 128 times maze dimensions dot x minus 2 comma minus 128. And that'll make the east wall be in the right spot. And it builds, no warnings. So let's check that it's working. Okay, we are running correctly. And then on main, we do not have our stuff we're supposed to. So Let's quit Godot and restart it. And this, you'll have to do this sometimes when you're adding a property. And then now maze dimension shows up, so we can set it to 5x5 five five instead. And now we're in a very small maze. 
and we can set it to whatever we want. Set it to 25 by 25, and it'll be very giant and take a long time to get to the other side. And let's set it back to our smaller number for testing. So we'll do seven by five. And that'll do it for this video.